all right. Fila is an OG brand which started over a hundred years ago. Yes, they are that old and they started in Italy first doing apparel. Now their first move into sports was tennis and then they later moved into basketball. In the mid, um, into the early to mid 90s, they signed a player by the name of Grant Hill, who was an awesome player. Played for Detroit Pistons, Orlando Magic, Phoenix Suns, and LA Clippers, and now is a co owner and on the board for Atlanta Hawks. Absolute legend. If you're not familiar with Grant Hill, go just search up on YouTube Grant Hill. Highlights, the man's dunks were vicious. I mean, WWE smack down vicious. He was an awesome, awesome player and is an absolute NBA legend. So if you're not familiar with Grant Hill, go look him up. It is well, well worth it. So let's have a look at this box label. Here we go, bam, we've got the Grant Hill logo there. Nice little logo. With that big feeler branding. The Grant Hill logo again. With his name and him shooting the ball, which I reckon is a really nice logo. Should be up there with the iconic jump man logo. I think it's just it's just a really nice basketball style logo. Now the big thing about these shoes at the time is they were one of the biggest selling models of basketball shoes at the time, and Fila managed to rise up and hold its own against the big boys like Nike, Adidas and Reebok which were absolutely dominating at the time and it was thanks to this man Grant Hill and it's just a beautiful sneaker really thankful that Fila have um, retro these which is friggin awesome now the one I've got here is absolute actually the Grant Hill well it's the 96 low trademark and is a Grant Hill 2 there were three models the one the two and the three, the three is now kind of marketed as the 97, I think, and this is the 96. So yeah, there's the Grant Hill one, two, and three, and this is of course the two, which is the favorite of my three of the three retro silhouettes, which is being produced. Let's take a look at this beautiful paper. Look at that, I really love how it's got the picture of the shoe on it and the Grant Hill logo, which I absolutely love. Yeah, and these are just absolute bangers. Look at that. They are a beautiful 90s looking sneaker. This is, when I look at these sneakers, it takes me back to my teenage years. Just really captures everything which was good about 90s basketball sneaker design at the time. And of course it was the era which produced the GOAT, Michael Jordan, and Grant Hill was one of the absolute legends of this era as well. And just, yeah, just, um, yeah, just look up his highlights of him playing because he's absolutely awesome, a basketball player. And look at this beautiful world. So we have the feeler branding with the iconic F logo, which I think was done in the 80s. They came up with a rework from that and have used it ever since it was, has withstood the test of time. So we get the feeler tag on there. Look at that beautiful midsole, nice and chunky. Still rather light, so these would have been in the time. Been great, great performance basketball shoes. We get the feeler branding there. Just look at that. What I really like is we have white leather upper. Which feels like a nice, nice, nice leather. Very, very decent indeed. And that's all over. We get feeler branding with embroidery and the little triangle design, which of course is repeated with the over branding with the slogans One World Fresh since 1911. So it has all the branding slogans of feeler, which you guys can see there. Usually that little bit would be coloured in on these particular ones, nice little touch. It is not. And of course, feeler branding is repeated on the inside there. Just um, debossed on the inside with the blue leather, which matches our heel strap. Which, oh, you could say has a function, but I, guess, I doubt it does. Maybe, maybe you'd be able to tighten it and lock in your heel more, but the heel cuts 
pretty, pretty solid with the TPU insert, so yeah, maybe, maybe you get more lockdown, maybe you don't, who knows. So you get a beautiful leather tongue, padded tongue, again with embroidered um, triangle patch on the front of the tongue, which is really, really nicely done. Has a sort of um, tongue tab there, or tongue hold, on a handle. TPU for getting it on and off. I don't really know if that's functional, but hey, it just looks really good. It goes with the whole shoe. And of course, we just get a simple ballistic nylon white pull tab at the back there. And overall, just a very, very nicely made shoe there. Just really love how they've done the extra bit for the toe box there. Really, really nice, really clean. The overall quality of these retros is really beautifully, beautifully done. No glue marks. Even, even the transfer on heat transfer of the branding there is really quite nicely done lines up reasonably reasonably well as you can see not too bad if you're absolute OCD perfectionist you'd say oh it doesn't really line up but the average person and from a distance you can see that looks just just fine love that feel of branding on the back and most of the branding is embroidered, so that is really, really nice. The attention to detail of these shoes is really nice in general. Right, on the inside, the construction is really nice. It's nicely padded on the inside. I mean, it is a 90s basketball sneaker, so you're probably not gonna get a lot of ventilation. These days, you can get better performance bang for your buck, but as a lifestyle shoe, just really nice. We get the blue navy blue inner sole there with the feeler now it's got a bump there and on the back it has got energize i'm not sure if the energizing foam technology is in this little bump here on the inner sole or is actually in the inside of the shoe but energize was the um foam technology or cushioning technology of that 90s era and that was a feature in all the Grant Hill, I think all three Grant Hill basketball um, signature sneakers. And there's a wide variation of these. There's some with the red there, blue, and they're just really, really nice. Um, really still want to get a high top pair, but I think the lows look really nice and they've got that beautiful chunky look. And I quite like the branding on this one, so it was a must cop for me. They're just a really nice retro sneaker, and probably a very forgotten about sneaker and gone under the radar, these releases. And I'm glad that Fila have brought these back. Whether they'll go back full into basketball like New Balance has or not, is yet to be seen.